Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video we are having another very challenging and interesting question from Radical Maths. Here we are going to evaluate x power 17. If x is 6th root of 7 minus 3 root 5 over 3 plus square root 5. So let's get started with our radicand. I will simplify 7 minus 3 square root 5 over 3 plus square root 5. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I need to multiply in numerator denominator by its conjugate 3 minus root 5. Here also 3 minus root 5. Now denominator is a plus b times a minus b. So I can write 3 square minus root 5 square. Now we will expand, multiply both the brackets, 21 minus 7 root 5 minus 9 root 5 plus 15. So this will become 21 plus 15, 36 minus 16 square root 5. And denominator is 9 minus 5. 4 is common from the numerator, so I can write 9 minus 4 root 5 over 4. This 4 and 4 will be over. So our radicant is 9 minus 4 square root 5. Let us replace. So x is 6th root of 9 minus 4 square root 5. Now what we have to find out it is x power 17. Let us plug in the value of x. So I will write 9 minus 4 square root 5 whole power 1 by 6 and then we have power 17. Now a power b whole power c any time we can write a power b times c. So let's multiply both the powers. 9 minus 4 square root 5 whole power will be 17 over 6. Now I will find mixed fraction. So 17 over 6 it can be written as 2 whole 5 over 6. So I will be writing 2 whole 5 over 6 as 2 plus 5 over 6. Now this 5 over 6 can be written as 2 plus half plus 1 by 3. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is 5 by 6. So I can write our power finally 9 minus 4 square root 5 whole power will be 2 plus half plus 1 third 1 over 3. This is our required expression x power 17. So its meaning is x power 17 it is equal to 9 minus 4 square root 5 whole square times 9 minus 4 square root 5 root times cube root of the same. 9 minus 4 square root 5. So it is having exponent property a power b plus c. Any time we can write a power b times a power c. Now I will consider square root as a and cube root as b. Let me write here x power 17 equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 whole square times square root of 9 minus 4 root 5. This I will call a and cube root of 9 minus 4 root 5 I will consider b. Let us find out a first. So a will be equal to square root of 9 minus 4 root 5. Now I will split 9 as 5 plus 4. So square root 5 plus 4 
and then minus 4 root 5. 5 can be written as root 5 whole square. 4 can be written as 2 whole square. And then we have minus 2 times root 5 times 2. So this is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Let me write here. Using this identity, our radicand will convert into root 5 minus 2 whole square. So I will write the square root of root 5 minus 2 whole square. Now square root and square will be over. So A is root 5 minus 2. Now the task of finding cube root. So B equal to cube root of 9 minus 4 square root 5. Now I will consider one algebraic manipulation step. First I will consider cubing both sides. So cube root and cube will be over B cube equal to 9 minus 4 root 5. Now that is step is I will multiply both sides by 8. So if I will multiply this side by 8, this side by 8, then we will be having 2 cube b cube equal to 72 minus 32 root 5. Left hand side we can write 2b whole cube equal to 72 minus 32 root 5. Let me write here. 72 minus 32 root 5. Left hand side is 2b whole cube. Now we have to split both 72 as well as 32. So to make our RHS a minus b whole cube. So I will split 32 root 5 as negative 27 root 5, negative 5 root 5. My target was to achieve a number product with the same number in a square root. So 5 root 5. Now 27 is here. So I will split 72 as 27 plus 45. Now I will rearrange the numbers. 27 minus the last term 5 root 5. Then minus 27 root 5. And then 45. Now 27 is 3 cube. 5 root 5 is root 5 cube. A cube minus B cube. This term would be minus 3a square b. Let us check. 3 times 9, 27. Yes. Plus 3a b square. Yes. 9 times 5, 45. So this side will become 3 minus square root 5 whole cube. Using identity, let me write here. a minus b whole cube equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3a b square. Now left side is 2b whole cube, right side is 3 minus root 5 whole cube. Consider cube root both sides. So 2b equal to 3 minus root 5 only. So b will come out. 3 minus root 5 over 2. Now we have A, we have B. Let us apply to find out x power 17. So x power 17 will be, I will write 9 minus 4 root 5 whole square 
times a times b. a is square root, b is cube root. Let us plug in the values. 9 minus 4 root 5 whole square times this value was root 5 minus 2 and the last value of b is 3 minus root 5 over 2. Now let us multiply the last two brackets first and first bracket we will multiply at last values are 81 plus 80 minus 72 root 5 a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now let's multiply this first. Divided by 2. So I will write 3 root 5 minus 5 minus 6 plus 2 root 5. So it is 161 minus 72 root 5 times this is 5 root 5 minus 11 divided by 2. The final multiplication we have to consider. Let's multiply. So x power 17 will be 161 times 5 root 5. So it will be 805 root 5. Next term would be 1771 minus 1800 plus 792 root 5 and denominator is 2. Now our final answer I will be writing x power 17 will be 1597 root 5 minus 3571 over 2. This is our final answer. And let me put in the box. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and goodbye.